Welcome back guys, you can grab the PC versions of Limbo and Tiny Tina's Wonderlands for absolutely free from Epic Games Store. The freebie offers will expire on 5th June. In this video, I'll be testing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands on my ROG Ally running on Windows 11 and Steam Deck running on SteamOS. It's an action role playing first person shooter game, which is actually a spin off in the Borderlands series and a sequel to Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Key. The game is set within the world of a fancy theme tabletop role playing game. It only supports FSR2 Upscaler. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace FSR2 Upscaler with XSS version 2 Upscaler. We'll also show you how to enable FSR frame generation using OptiScaler mod. Unfortunately, frame generation only worked on ROG Ally. I couldn't get it working on Steam Deck. So I'll just stick to XSS version 2 Upscaler on Deck. I'll kick things off with ROG Ally. First, just download the DLSS2 mod for the game. It replaces the in-game FSR2 Upscaler with DLSS Subscaler. I'll be using it to activate OptiScaler mod. The mod can be downloaded for free from Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files. Click on Manual Download. Download the latest version of the mod, 0.5. Click on Slow Download here. Download will start. I'll be using an older build of OptiScaler mod, version 0.7 PU66, as the game was crashing with the latest build. This build can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the set section. Expand it. Click on the .7z link here. Download the latest XSS SDK from GitHub. Again, I'll give its link in the description. Version 2.0.1. Expand the asset section. Click on the .zip link here. The SDK comes with XSS version 2. First, I'll install the DLSS mod for the game. Open the mods archive file. Open OGame folder. Open Binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Copy all of the files present inside this folder. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Open your Epic Games library. Click on the three dots below the game's box art. Click on Manage. Click on the folder icon here. This will open the game's install directory. Open OGame folder. Binaries folder. Win64 folder, paste the files here. Now create a copy of this DLL file nvngx underscore dlss. Paste. Change its name to nvngx.dll. Now I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file. Just copy the highlighted files, three of them. Go back, paste. Change the name of nbngx.dll file to txgi.dll Just copy the highlighted files I'll cut them Open the games install directory Binaries, Win64 Paste the mod files here, right next to the game's main exe file Where we install the dlss2 mod Now I'll install xcss subscaler Open its archive file Open pin folder. In this directory, look for a DLL file name libxcss. Select it, copy. Open the games install directory. Open OK game folder, pioneers folder, Win64 folder. Paste the DLL file here. And that's it. Everything has been installed. Show you the adrenaline settings for the game. From here, I've enabled FreeSync, VSync, and anti lag. For this game, I've set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 341. I've installed Ally's latest official GPU driver that added support for Doom the Dark Ages. Using a 27W manual profile, all 3 power values set at 27W, 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8-bit to Ultimate 2C controller to Ally via 2.4GHz wireless mode. Launch the game. At startup, shaders will get compiled. Make sure no third-party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. It can affect the proper functioning of OptiScaler's hardfix. I'll just use Adrenaline's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Press its hot key combo control shift and O. We are in. Visuals. Make sure graphics API is set to DirectX 12. OptiScale FSR frame generation is not compatible with DirectX 11 API. Display mode full screen, 900p resolution, VSync off, resolution scale 100%, no FPS cap applied. Visuals. Using the medium graphics preset. 
Sun settings are set to high with the medium preset. Post processing settings, camera motion blur and object motion blur disabled. Yeah, make sure FSR2 upscaler is enabled using its quality preset. Sharpness is set to 0.3. We are done here. All right, we are in. Open OptiScale menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. Increase the size by clicking on the drop down bar next to UI scale. Set the value to 1.2. From this drop down bar, make sure XCS is upscale is selected. Its version is shown here 2.0.1. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Enable auto exposure setting. Base resolution 1068 by 600 pixels upscale to 900p. Click on save INI. Settings will get saved even after we start the game. The mod settings. Close. Play the game without frame generation first. FPS is staying close to 55. Check out the image quality. Yeah, it's looking so clean. Not observing any artifacts. VRAM usage is close to 4.3 GB. I just rate this castle. Open the chest. Hitting the GP bottleneck here. You down. You can see some undead in the background. There they are. Oh my god. I <laughs> use my melee weapon. They are coming after me. Even during combat FPS stays close to 50. That's really good to see. It's a great experience on Ally. Just enable frame generation now. Do it quickly. Just notice the source API here. DLSS. Very important. Enable frame generation setting, enable FG hotfix setting, set the limit value to 1, do not enable FG extended setting, enable FG allow async setting, quickly show you the debug view, check this setting FG debug view, close, the displays are working properly for all of the images, no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image, so the game's interface should not flicker with optical FSR frame generation enabled. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. FSR smoothing effect should work properly. Disable the debug view. Save INI. and close. Resume the game. The FPS increased to around 80. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Frame generation is working properly. Rerime usage increased slightly. 4.7 GB. Very impressive results produced by OptiScaler mod in this game. Input delay is not a problem. Games hard elements are not flickering. Now I'll be testing the game on Steam Deck. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. I have installed Epic Games on Steam Deck via Steam itself. Already shown you the setup process. We'll drop the video link in the description. For Epic Games, I am using G Proton version 10-4 as the compatibility layer. Show you the mod setup process. Just add this launch option. I'll give it in the description of the video. You can copy the text from there and paste it here. Download DLSS2 mod for the game from Nexus Mods website. It will replace the end game FSR2 upscaler with DLSS upscaler. I'll be using it to activate OptiScaler mod. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on File. Download the latest version of the mod 0.5. Click on Manual Download here. Click on Slow Download. We'll be using version 0.7 PV66 build of OptiScaler mod as the latest version was crashing. You can download this build for absolutely free from OptiScaler's GitHub. Again, I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it, click on the .7z link here. Download XCSS SDK version 2.0.1 from GitHub. It comes with the latest version of XCSS Upscaler. Expand the assets section, click on the .zip link here. Open Dolphin File Explorer, click on Downloads. Here you will find all of the downloaded files. I have transferred them to another directory, does not matter. First, I will be installing the DLSS mod for the game. Open its archive file. Extract this folder, OK. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this. Close. Open OKM folder, binaries folder, Win64 folder. Select all of the files here. 
right click cut need to paste them in the games install directory where the games main exe file is present I have installed the game in home folder games folder LOF folder tiny tina wonderlands this is the games install directory now open oak game folder open binaries folder open win64 folder there is the games main exe file paste the dlss mod files here now just create a copy of this dll file nvngx underscore dlss paste set its name to nvngx.dll click on continue there is the file oh no need to rename it use the wrong name nngx it should be nvngx.dll there you go now I'll install optiscaler mod open the mods archive file select the highlighted files three of them extract them just drag and drop them outside of this archive window like this close and just rename nvngx.dll file to txgi.dll hit enter open nvngx.ini file set tx12 upscaler to xcss now i won't be using optiscale fsr frame generation as it did not work at all on steam deck so i'll be disabling frame generation swap chain as it comes with a minor hit on the performance compared to the game running without optiscale mod and just set use fg swap chain to false it's under frame gen section this is how you should be configuring optiscale mod if you only want to use its upscaling component not the fsr frame generation component save close and just select the highlighted files these are the files that we extracted right click cut need to paste these files in the same directory where we installed dlss2 mod for tiny tina wonderlands right here next to the game's main exe file now i'll install xcss upscaler open xcss sdk's archive file expand bin folder here need to extract this dll file libxcss drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this extraction complete close there's the dll file selected right click cut again paste it in the same game directory where you install optiscaler mod right next to the game's main exe file there you go everything has been installed we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steam OS gaming mode play epic game started launch the game from here game started performance game settings only level set to 2 uncapped the fps by enabling disable frame limit and allow tearing settings that's it in game settings graphics api set to directx 12 display mode borderless 800p resolution vsync off resolution scale 100 percent no fps cap applied visuals i'll just set the graphics preset to medium medium to high settings with this preset post processing effects like camera motion blur object motion blur disabled fsr2 upscaler set to quality sharpness level 0.3 now let we are in open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key if you don't have a keyboard just map the insert key to any of steam decks back click buttons from this drop down bar select the upscaler i am using xcss version 2.0.1 enable auto exposure setting now we don't have access to frame generation settings as I have disabled FG swap chain from the mods configuration file. Click on save Vina here. Close. Here we are in. Check out the image quality. Oh my god, it's looking so clean. Not observing any pixelation around the objects in the environment. Everything is looking so sharp. Excess is upscaler for you. Motion clarity is also very good. This is why I always disable post processing effects. Okay, I'll just barge into this castle. FPS is a bit variable 39 to 45. Better to cap the FPS at 40 for a more stable experience. You can see the power draw here 24 watts. Should be getting a playtime of around 1 hour 45 minutes on a full battery. This is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Display supports up to 60 hertz refresh rate undead archers let's use my bolt gun the fps is staying close to 40 even during combat two shot burst let's 
is two four shot bursts more archers it's an excellent freebie make sure to grab it before the offer expires it expires on 5th june game uses unreal engine 4 but the performance is good on steam deck that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day